and welcome back to Linda's Pantry. Today, um, it's a cold, rainy, fall day and the wind has been blowing off and on. The leaves are flying around. It's delightful. So I'm in here enjoying a fire in the wood stove and a <clears throat> nice tumbler of warm bone broth. And I'm gonna tell you, this This is beef bone broth um, that I get at Costco. You guys have seen it in some of my grocery hauls, but I put a sprig of rosemary in there, fresh rosemary, and let it steep. It is delicious. Just a hint to give it some added flavor and nutrition. Mm. So, as you see in the title, what I've got for you is a garden update. Because <clears throat> I did get some things done this week. I got a garden update for you and, you know, just kind of a weather update. More than anything, we're going to have rain for off and on. Um, every day for the next week so and we've had rain for the last few days it is wonderful because I don't have to water I don't have to tend to anything I go out and pick what I need and what I want and tonight I am gonna pick some or today I'm gonna pick some kale because I'm making a casserole low-carb um, lasagna casserole that I want to add some healthy kale into the mix I'll probably take some over to my daughter for the chickens as well because it really is their chicken garden <laughs> Some of this is for them. So let's go outside and see how things are going and what I planted and what I got cleaned out. All right, I'll be back. All right, so off we go. And it's chilly, it's about 54 degrees. So this is what all the trees are turning, if you can see across the way. And yeah, it's just, it's beautiful. A lot of reds too. I don't, from right here, I don't see a lot, but um, lots of yellows and orange and red and it's just wonderful <clears throat> okay so here we go as you can see I cleaned out that and that and I planted kale and broccoli and I've never grown broccoli before so we're gonna see how this goes but that's broccoli and I see there's a couple yellow leaves I'll take those off and then 12 starts of kale curly kale and I've been going to get this tomato plant out of there and thrown in the trash, but it's been raining every time I have a chance. So strawberries still thriving, not really producing much. Peppers still thriving. Still, yeah, giving me jalapenos for days. Um, I did plant a little rosemary, so I can have my bone broth with fresh sprigs of rosemary and do my rosemary chicken. I spy some more parsley here, so that's nice. Um, and this parsley plant is coming back. And look at that, all that Swiss chard. It's just doing fantastic. So these plants, um, I really, look at the radishes. I still haven't picked them. That's all big radish leaves. But there's giant radishes in there. I wonder if they're solid. If they are, I will let you know. We haven't had a hard frost yet. Um, these tomatoes, they're not looking too spiffy. Um, I probably am just going to pull the tomatoes and get these plants out of here. All right. I hope you can hear past the wind. We, um, It's getting windy again. So look at all these cayenne. I've got cayenne for days. I need to dry those out. I've got more habaneros, which I'll be doing habanero, um, some more apricot jam, which I did for the pantry peeps. Um, I did a live, and we all were canning, but see, there's there's more habaneros in there, so we'll wait till those get ripe. <clears throat> and the beets, uh, we'll see. Um, uh, the jury's still out on these beets. More peppers. More Swiss chard, carrots. These carrots are delicious. Ooh, I spy one down there. Um, they're absolutely full of flavor. And these beets are coming along, so we'll see. Um, <clears throat> over here, okay, and the rhubarb is starting to die back. So that's good, because I don't have time for it. Um, this is the garlic bed. And even in here, you know, we've got garlic coming up. Um, through the straw. So I put just a thin layer of straw down, but you can see all the garlic shoots. Um, that'll help insulate the bulbs over the winter. And more Swiss chard and kale, and this is where I'm gonna pick the kale. 
so uh, lettuce and it's starting to get its true leaves so we'll have lettuce here in a couple weeks but kale gotta pick it I pick this about every three to four days pick some for me and I did um, you know it started raining all the earthworms come out I put them in that uh, kale bed so look at the size of these leeks they're perfect <laughs> perfect size for a big pot of potato leek soup and maybe a canning project so some more this is kale um, this is lettuce down there little babies and I believe that's pak choy and a little bit there's some more kale and then this was charred which is really hasn't changed a bit so that's my little garden update. I'm gonna get to picking so I can get out of this cold weather. <laughs> and, uh, oh yeah, it's, it's starting to rain a little bit. So I wanna get my dues done and look at this beautiful, beautiful cascading blueberry. Mm, so pretty. All right, more peppers. I've got peppers for days. Yep, more poblanos. She get out here and pick them. All right, guys. Guys, it's starting to get really windy and cold. Um, you know, it's it's probably 54, but it feels like 49, maybe, and without a jacket. So I'm going to put my jacket on to go pick some kale and some peppers and um, finish my bone broth. But hopefully you guys are having a beautiful Saturday. <coughs> Actually the latter part of October is here. I can't believe Halloween's around the corner. We're going to be, oh no, we're going to be in November. Can you believe that? Absolutely crazy. Okay. Well, I am uh, going to finish my chores and I'll get this video uploaded for you. Bye. Happy gardening. Let me know in the comment section if you're growing anything over the winter and what you can and can't grow or if you're in an area that you can't do anything. Do you do row covers? Do you have a greenhouse? I really want to know and I know a lot of my followers would love to hear and see the comment. All right.